Coronado Island is one of those rare communities along the California coast. Almost everywhere you look, it is a postcard waiting to happen. A peaceful place and a very tightly knit community. But these days, an unlikely issue is pulling some in the community apart. It is a battle between tree huggers and lawn bowlers and the tree lovers just lost. It's hard to believe in a town like Coronado, Tree City USA, right? That they would consider cutting down five healthy, fully grown, mature trees that provide, look at the shade we're in, look how much cooler it is. The trees at the center of this drama are the Canary Island pine trees. They were planted many years ago alongside the historic lawn bowling greens. These days, however, the roots from the trees are supposedly messing with the surface of the course. So the city has voted to chop the trees to save the greens. So I, I look at this and I think to ourselves, you know, this was the, um, this was the least worse outcome. Uh, everyone in here, Coronado, we love trees. We're part of Tree City USA. Uh, you won't find anyone here in Coronado that doesn't love trees. Unfortunately, the trees that are in question are these large canary pines that were not necessarily the wrong tree, but they were planted in the wrong location years ago. When these trees were originally planted many, many years ago, the surface of the course was still natural grass. 13 years ago, artificial turf was installed, and that is when the complaints about the trees began. Uh, but what we're seeing in this case as of right now is that they are producing or contributing to the nutrition for a fungus that's growing underneath the lawn bowling green, which is then rendering the lawn bowling green uh, unplayable uh, in many parts. The sport of lawn bowling has a long and illustrious history. Considered one of the first organized sports on earth, it dates back at least 5,000 years to ancient Egypt. Today, it has several versions, including bocce ball. But the decision to chop is more about the trees themselves than the power of the lawn bowling lobby in Coronado. Lawn bowling predates all of these trees. It's been a, a game really loved by our community for, for nearly a century now. Yeah. And as these trees uh, matured, and they were planted about 30 years ago, as they matured, uh, their roots are very invasive and very destructive. In fact, the trees are on our restricted tree list, so we're not we don't plant those anywhere in the city right away um, anymore. We haven't for quite some time. While most people enjoy the beauty and the benefit of trees, any trees, these Canary Island palms are not welcome here. This is one of the species on the so-called restricted tree list, essentially a hit list for trees that don't fit the current landscape plans. So there's an actual hit list for trees. Uh, th these four trees, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't characterize it as a hit list necessarily, but I would characterize it as a how do we make the, the overall best decision for our community, given that these are factors no one really wants to deal with. If we could rewind the clock and go back in time, uh, these trees should have never been planted in the first place in, the, in that location. As you might imagine, there are a lot of trees on the island currently on the restricted tree list. Not only the Canary Island pine, but others as well. But guess what? Palm trees are on the complete no list. You cannot plant a palm tree here. So I'm saying, look, if these are on the restricted list, and the palm trees are on the no plant list, are you gonna go take out all the palm trees too? Just because these are on a restricted list doesn't mean you have to take them out. Or At some point, the city might decide to start chopping other trees down and the tree lovers will be there to fight back. But the vote is in and these trees already have a date with a chainsaw. And they're gonna cut them down because they can't figure out how to placate the lawn bow bowlers over here. Uh, and so with in the, in the arguably the most highly educated town in San Diego, very affluent, can't figure out a solution to this except for to kill these beautiful trees. Trees create their own little microclimate because they trans they evapotranspirate and so they're creating moisture and, and they have their own wind. And so it's actually cooling this whole corridor here. You wait till these trees come out, then we're gonna see how hot that gets. You know, earlier today, somebody who loves trees very much came by and wrapped a ribbon around this particular tree, this Canary Island pine tree, and also left a note from the Dr. Seuss books, the Lorax. And if you remember that, that was about an environmentalist who wanted to save the trees. Unfortunately, the trees are going to be chopped down and probably in the next couple of weeks or so. The mayor promises everybody here that they will be replaced and they will be replaced with adult trees, hopefully providing some shade rather quickly but this particular type of tree it is on that list here in Coronado and it is coming down because the folks behind me at the lawn bowling greens 
decided that they were getting in the way and that the trees had to come down. So the city <laughs> agreed with them. The chainsaws will be on the way and hopefully the replacement trees will grow fast so they can provide shade for the folks here in Coronado. The battle is over, at least this one. We're in Coronado, Dan Plant, KUSI News.